Haven for Heroes is here at Big Apple Comic Con! Tales from the Flipside family. Here we are at Big Apple Comic Con. You heard me shout it out earlier. Selling comics, right? This is what it's all about. This is a show that's probably 25, 30 years old, maybe a little older. Um, Big Apple Comic Con run for by uh, Mike Carbonara. How do we get rid of our books that we buy in bulk? Dollar bins, dollar bins. This is one thing that we do. We bring out to a convention all these dollar books and we sell them to all the people that come to the convention, hopefully to fill up their runs, right? The other thing is, is that my business model when I come to a convention is bring the weird stuff, right? We got a uh, Secret Wars coloring book, um, Mexican Spider-Man. We got uh, a couple of ash cans from Rob Liefeld. We got some <clears throat> Nintendo from Valiant. We've got a whole bunch of San Francisco uh, ripoff press and kitchen sink books. Like stuff that a lot of, a lot of the other dealers aren't bringing. You know, every single stand has a Spider-Man 300. Not everyone has a Foom number six, you know? So that's right, that's my philosophy. That's what I do business model-wise of coming out to the conventions. I built my stand last night. I uh, kind of ripped off from whatever I've seen it shows all my life of going around. We ended up getting on the second tier, as you can see where I shouted from earlier. We we're up on the second floor. We're the only comics on the second floor. It hasn't been very busy upstairs. It's been a pretty busy convention. Um, we'll talk to some of our friends uh, here in a little while. The last show I did, we did all long boxes and I just grabbed whatever dollar books we had. This time I hand picked every single book to bring out because I it's a trip into New York City. It's gonna cost me 40 to 70 dollars in parking. Um, gas to come down here. You know you gotta you gotta make your money and on dollar books that means lots volume lots lots of books. We probably made our money back and a little bit of a little bit of profit. You know it gives us an idea what this convention's like. The, the main floor is definitely uh, on fire. Stay tuned with us while we go out around and we're gonna talk to some people, all the different dealers, what they brought, uh, opposed to what I brought, and uh, we'll get right back with you. Hey folks, in case you didn't know, there's dollar books on the second floor. There's comic books on the second floor. Woo, dollar bin, dollar, dollar bin. All right, so make sure when you go to the con that you bring somebody with you. You're gonna need bathroom breaks, you're gonna need food breaks, but most importantly, you're gonna need to get around the con. What I talked about before, early and what I talked about later is making, even if you don't make a lot of money, make your connections, network, right? So here we are walking around the con, going around to all the different dealers. So I had the cheapest stuff in the place. I had dollar books. There was nobody else there that I could buy long boxes off of. But I talked to a lot of the dealers about that and um, you know when they dump books, if they were interested. Some of them were too far away. I'm not willing to drive down to North Carolina to, to pick up books. Make sure that you can uh, spend some time out on the floor talking to all the other dealers because listen, they have different business models. Maybe something sells for them that doesn't sell for you um, and vice versa. You can switch trade books up, switch books up. Everybody knows I focus a lot on readers. So I'm looking for reader copies and I'm, hopefully they're not throwing them in the dumpster, but nobody had reader copies there. You know, I have. A, pretty large 50 cent bin which is dwindling away to nothing and I need to fill that up so I need to make a lot of connections when I'm out of con. The other thing is is that take a list from your when you're going to convention you want to get a list from all your subscribers and all your regulars of anything special that they're looking for and what they're willing to pay for a copy 
if they're looking for a graded copy or if they're looking for a certain price range for a certain book. This is a great place. Uh, some guys don't get out to these conventions and they're looking for particular books that you don't have, but you still want to make that sale. A lot of times you can go, you can even bring some stuff to trade with other dealers and you know, you want to negotiate and a lot of times dealer to dealer, you know, you're going to get a, a, a percentage off uh, because they're going to want the same thing for when they go to, to other people's tables and dealers kind of work that out between each other. I didn't have a list. Nobody was actually looking for th anything specifically, but I did make my way around and look at all the things, all the really, really cool golden age books, which I don't have a lot of. And there was a lot at this show.